Hello and a very big welcome. Welcome to this particular walkthrough where I'm going to be showing you the Telegram Bot Manager Lite. Now there's been a few updates since the last video, the last demonstration of this particular piece of software that I'm writing and let's get straight into this video. So first things first, I just want to have a quick disclaimer that since I'm using OBS to record this, this particular run through, there's a situation where certain windows won't pop up at the time unless I discreetly tell them to. So I'm not going to necessarily show every piece of UI that is actually functioning in the application only for the sake of time. But what I'm going to be doing is showing the, mo the more important UI elements just so you can get an idea for the concepts behind this prototype piece of software that I'm writing at the moment. And yeah, let's jump straight into things. So first things first, what does this manager do? What it does, it allows you to take advantage of um, Telegram bots, which can be created on the Telegram app itself. And what this part of, should I say, what this bespoke piece of software does is that it allows you to program what your bot says, essentially. You know, you can augment a conversation with a user based on what you program your bot to say. So what I'm going to do now is actually create a new bot, or should I say rather link a bot to one that I already have. I'll link the application, better, better said, to a bot that I already have created. You won't see the pop-up window that I've written into right now, but you'll see the effect. So right now, you would have seen on the UI an update to the temporary name I've given this particular bot, and I've also um, supplied the bot ID so that the application knows what bot to communicate with. Next thing I'm going to do, I hit tools and uh, a window popped up. Now, because of OBS, what happens is that you don't see the other um, manager view actually obscured straight away, which is unfortunate because I'm using OBS. It stays on the screen and perpetuates. So what I'm going to do is just use OBS to hide this. I'm going to move that to the bottom. Um, okay, now that I've moved the screen to the bottom, uh, what you should see is the chat canvas. Now, I do disclaim once again that all of this is very much in a prototype phase, but a lot of what you see conveys the idea behind what I'm going for for this particular piece of software. But without much further ado, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a bot. Or should I say, I keep referring to the functionality as bots, but really I'm routing the conversation of the bots that I've already created via Telegram. So what I've actually done right now is to create just over here. I'm using OBS to drag it because it won't be responsive if I do it on the um, application local view um, because of OBS. And now what I'm going to do is create another one. So I'm going to hit it and you can't see it right now, but I'm going to quickly run to OBS. Okay, so I'm back. Now what you should see on your screen, I do appreciate it's a little bit hard to see because of the resolution of the recording, but I've created three nodes, zero, one, and two. Now, this is essentially the augmented conversation that you can program on um, this side of the application for your Telegram bot. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is start things. I'm going to break the ice. So let's talk about the weather. So how is the weather today? I hope I can spell. And let's give some options, right? So Y is yes and N is no, that, because that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> how is the weather today? Um, good. And then the user will respond Y or N. Let me just make sure I wrote that correctly. And then in this particular branch, what am I going to do? Uh, in this node, rather better said, <coughs> excuse me, this will be a response. So if the user says yes, I'm going to write something like this. Indeed, the weather is lovely. Boom. And on the final node, I'm going to write respective to no. So... I see, hopefully the weather picks up soon. Uh, I do disclaim, or rather I apologize, my computer does hang sometimes because it's not the fastest, but uh, my computer has caught up. So right now, this is the first step. So as you can see, we have a conversation flow going on a little bit over here to here to here. Or should I say, these are the branching nodes, um, the possibilities. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to connect the nodes via the IDs. I'm going to route them. So I'm going to take the node ID of the one in the middle and connect it to the branch of node A, or node 0 rather. So now you can see there's a connection. I'm going to go ahead and take the node ID of the final um, node, and I'm going to branch it to the B branch. As you can see, there's a connection there. So if I go to the A route, I go here. B route, respectively, I go to the other node. Now, the final step 
is that what I want to do is configure the tags, which is quite important because with the tags, um, the application knows what to look for in terms of routing to the correct conversation. So if I say if the user clicks, or should I say rather types Y, then they sh in the branch A tags field, then they should be taken to this particular node, um, which is branch, which is connected to branch A of the first node. Um, respectively, if I write N, then basically this is branch B, the tag is N, branch B connected to the final nodes, you see there's a connection. So branch A takes me to the top node, and, um, or should I say rather node 1, and then because I'm using OBS, it's a little bit hard to see, and then finally branch B takes me to the node on the farthest corner, this one here, on number 2. So now that that's out of the way, um, what I want to do very quickly, just making sure I've done everything here, before I parse the script, I just want to demonstrate to you guys um, a particular functionality which alleviates the, the, um, the situation of the windows perpetuating on the screen when you don't really want it to, especially if you've got like a dual screen setup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now, just before I show you um, what I was talking about just before moments ago, I just want to quickly draw your attention to the fact that I looped this um, just during the pause. So basically, not only does this loop, um, this first node here branch to the other two nodes, but now if I press, or should I say, if the user types B in the respective two nodes, it, I have hooked it up so that it actually connects back to the first node. So there's a bit of a loop going on there. So without much further ado, I will show you the docking functionality. Okay, so now what you should see is a placeholder version of the um, of the nodes. And here, if I go ahead and scroll, if my computer catches up with me, I'll just go ahead and try that again. There we go. Um, you'll see that the nodes now are child elements, or should I say child components of the scroll viewer, which means that even if you scroll off view, um, obviously, they'll be obscure, then you can bring them back into view. And this is great because, uh, one, it saves space because too many windows on the screen, as you saw before, will, might be an issue for the UI. So what you can do is just to kind of neatly organize things by docking the nodes, and then there will be um, child components of the scroll viewer, which then you can you know, navigate here, and they will be within the viewport of the scroll viewer, which is quite handy, actually. So next thing we're going to do, now that I've passed the script, I'm going to go back to the man in the manager. Um, you won't be able to see it particularly, but on tools, there's an update server button, which I've gone ahead and clicked. And now everything's ready. Uh, I'm going to go and switch to Telegram view, and I'm going to show you guys the bot functionality in action. Okay, so now that we're in Telegram view, I'm going to demonstrate things working. Now, hopefully, I left some sensible prompts because now that I'm away from the programming canvas view, I'm relying really on the um, on the bot to help break the ice and prompt me um, with the routing. So without much further ado, let's get go ahead and kind of trigger this conversation. I'm going to go ahead and break the ice. I'm going to say hi. And as you can see, as programmed, the bot says, how is the weather today? Good. I'm going to go ahead and write Y. And the bot responds, indeed, the weather is lovely. Back, I'm going to write B. And as you can see, the bot responds um, as by, rather, <laughs> going back. So how is the weather today? Good, that's the first node. And now I'm going to write an N, as in no. And the bot responds, I see, hopefully the weather picks up soon. Back, and I'm going to write B finally. And there we have it. We have quite a simple but working loop um, as programmed by the by the manager, as I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly switch the views once more for software. And that brings me to the end of the video. I want to thank you for keeping up with this particular run through. And do stay tuned. Stay tuned for more updates on this particular piece of software and any more updates I may have regarding other software. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.